MAGA under fire, BLM praised, and the activist media calling the shots. I'm Mark Angelides. Welcome to Liberty Nation TV. So it's all chaos in the swamp. And to help us navigate these sticky waters is Liberty Nation's socio-political correspondent, Mr. Jeff Charles. Welcome, Jeff. Hey, thanks for having me on. Always a pleasure. So, Jeff, um, the difference in attitudes, media attitudes, it's striking. Uh, Trump supporters are extremists. BLM are saints. Then we see it from the media and a number of politicos, really. But what's the real story as far as you're concerned? Yeah, the, the, the real story is that the same truth applies to both the MAGA protesters and to Black Lives Matter. The vast majority of, of them aren't an issue. They, they protest peacefully, they demonstrate, they get their ideas out there, whether we agree with them or not is a different story. But the vast majority of them are not engaged in writing. The problem is that when it comes to the case of what happened at the U.S. Capitol building, the, me the, the activist media, the Democrats, they're, they're following what Rahm Emanuel said, and never let a good crisis go to waste. So you can see the overstep in so many different areas, not even just in the media, not even just with, with what they're doing with, with social media and parlor and all that. They're trying to take full advantage of what happened there to push their agendas. And part of that agenda is painting all Trump supporters as people who support this stuff, even though a poll did, that did come out last week that showed that 80% were against it. So, so the reality doesn't add up to their, their narrative, but that's nothing new. But I do suspect that in doing all this, they are going to overstep like they always do. A lot of this will end up backfiring later. I mean, they're, they're about to have another Hillary Clinton deplorables moment right now. And that's what, what they're leading up to. Yeah, get that basket ready. I mean, I'm hearing uh, from a range of places that the MAGA fans, they're, they're about to be tarred with the domestic terrorist brush. Um, now, there may be a, a case made for those that broke into the Capitol, but there, there are tens of thousands of, of people there who were just really there to exercise their rights. I mean, is this a, is this a gift for the Democrats who'd rather the, the Trump faithful jumped back in their deplorable basket? Like I said, this was a gift to the Democrats. It was. But, but with the way they're handling it, it's it's going to end up in the long run being a gift to Republicans and, and Trump supporters. How because so? the Yeah, because here's the thing. If they try to, to smear Trump supporters as domestic terrorists, they don't have evidence for it, really. They, they, they don't even have anything to work off of. This is the first time you have seen Trump supporters riot, and he's been in office for four years. Meanwhile, over the summer, you see people on the left rioting all over the place, all over the summer, all over the nation. So yeah, they are gonna to try to paint them as domestic terrorists, but the thing is, is anybody gonna buy it? No, the only people who are gonna buy it are the people who want to buy it, the people on the far left. So like, this is what I talk about when I talk about this overstep. This is why Trump got away with saying so much of the stuff that he said when he was in office, because he would say something and, and it might be legitimately bad, but then the way the, the left reacted was just so over the top that you kind of forgot about what he said. So I yeah. think the same thing is gonna, it's, it's gonna happen here. Now, this is assuming that there is no more, uh, uh, politically motivated violence on the right as far as tr Trump supporters go or anybody else. But if it doesn't happen, then this tactic is not gonna work. And I think they may know it, but I think they're kind of just throwing whatever they can against the wall, trying to take full advantage and seeing what'll, what'll, what'll stick. That that actually brings me very nicely onto my next question. So uh, we, we all heard the other day, uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris making their political hay. Uh, and they were talking about how uh, protesters uh, thrust their whiteness ahead of democracy. The, to me, that seems just like the overstep you're talking about. They're taking what is a, a political opinion and they're turning it into a, I, I don't know, some kind of racial crucible. Oh, yeah. um, I mean, is it just for clicks or, or do, that, do you think they actually believe this? Um, I think, I don't think it's for clicks and I don't believe that they believe it. And here, and here's why, I get this question a lot when it just comes to the left in general. I think maybe some of the rank and file might, might believe that, they might fall for it, but when it comes to the people who actually create the messaging, I don't believe for a second that they actually believe what they're saying. I, I give them too much credit to believe that. These are not stupid people. So when they when they try to racialize it or when they try to, 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 try to make it sound like everything was, was just racist, they, they know it's not true, but they know that that's what their base wants to hear. And they know that that appeals to a certain audience, but I don't think that, again, it'll do them much good going forward. I'm, um, you know, I mean, Kamala Harris just recently said that if, if President Trump isn't punished, then we'll see a weaponizing of white people. They, they just go so over the top that it's hard to take them seriously when they're not being serious people. 
There, there's, um, there's, there's something I want to address, and you spoke about this recently on a Conservative 5 episode of Liberty Nation production. Um, I think there's a lot of Americans out there who see uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. They see it as a single united bloc, and that kind of makes um, the different treatment that we're seeing of the, the, the Trump supporters, it, it makes it very tough to swallow. But it's not quite right that BLM is a united bloc. Could you explain that a bit? Yeah, it's not. I mean, so you have the national global Black Lives Matter movement. And the Marxist, that is, right? That, that is the Marxist movement. That is one where, where they openly claim that they're Marxist. On their website, before they took it down, they had, you know, a uh, 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 language on there saying that they wanted to get rid of the family. They're, they're way more about the alphabet agenda than about actual Black lives. And so when, when usually when people talk about BLM, they're talking about them. But they, they don't understand that there are local chapters a bunch of them all across the nation and they don't all line up with the national organization some do but a lot of them don't and you've seen a, a, a lot of strife between the two entities there's been a bit of a breaking off because the local chapters don't aren't aren't all the way on board with that that ideology there's issues as far as finances are concerned but i mean in some cases like you, you see black lives matter in utah they stood they stood with proud boys at a press conference to denounce racism and to denounce police brutality. In some cases, in, in that same Black Lives Matter chapter even supported a Republican candidate. And I think that the media on both sides doesn't really want us to, to make that distinction. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, hashtag global BLM walk away. Jeff, thanks ever so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. That's it for this edition of Liberty Nation TV. Remember to hit Liberty Nation News for original articles, the Uprising and Rabbit Hole podcast, and our signature television program, The Conservative Five. Just go to LibertyNation.com on your browser or hit Rumble, YouTube, or check out Liberty Nation News Roku channel. I'm Mark Antelides. Thanks for watching. This program is a production of LibertyNation.com. Conservative news, where truth matters. Go deeper on the topic discussed in this video. Head on over to one of these links here or go to our Liberty Nation Roku channel. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Liberty.